So I got three tier fours of max ammo. So 40%, 40.17, 40.17, and 40.17. Fun fact, chat. This helps us confirm. You know, we we already like thought about it. Mr. Connor and I already thought about it. The same max ammo line are additive to each other. Look at my max ammo. 662. Remember what I said? If you have if it's in the same tier, so if it's 40.17 and if it's the same tier they are additive instead so 0 0.4017 times 3 1.205 plus 1 2.25 times 300 661.653 the one if they're on the same tier they're additive if they're on separate tiers do you multiply the tier with the base first and then add that and then they, you add them all separately let's see if i have another example i could do let's see scarlet is all different this might be good we're looking at 6.4 equals to 13.678 equals to 10. 13.786, which is 14.57. Max ammo. Meanwhile, we add them all up. It's equal to 36. This is an example where we are benefiting off the overloads are calculated separately because each of the overload on Scarlet are calculated separately they go to the next tier this one goes to the next tier this one goes to the next tier because rounding up right it rounds it up and then this one rounds it up so it ended up with 57 max ammo and if you add it all up it ends up only with 36 plus 20 plus 36 so it's only just gonna end up with 56 there you go 57 57 the buffs are additive to each other so like litter's buff minus privatis buff they all add up to each other first sniper rifle and rocket launcher breakpoints this is basically like the breakpoints that you kind of want to look into 44.28 pushes it to 9 60.71 pushes it to 10 oh, well it says 10 here but it's plus 4 basically tier 1 to tier 4 is plus 2 ammo only tier 5 to tier 8 is plus 3 however there's an exceptions right uh this one 56.60 if you have two 66.60 they are gonna be additive to each other what's gonna happen is instead of getting two plus threes it's gonna be plus seven if you have two 56.60 oh <clears throat> mr conto also did some testing with noir there is something fun interesting thing with noir yeah i remember i was talking to mr Cotto did this we were discussing about he was talking about how noir first adds five ammo cap and then restores the percentage of the clip but i was like bro how about have you considered positioning like privity before nor or nor before privity yeah so because of that we ended up like figuring things out nor's position matters whether if she's on the left uh left of like privity or right of privity because put nor left or privity or else the ammo debuff will affect the percent ammo restore so this is Mr. Conto's test with Privity debuff minus 50% ammo. For Modernia, she had an original ammo of 665. With Nor to the left, the ammo after restore is 457. And when Privity to the left, but this ammo after restore is 399. So the ammo debuff is consistently 152, but the ammo restore that they're getting is about 257 versus 199. This is uh, Mr. Conto's wise words for us. Makes the most difference with stuff like MGs I suppose. About 1 second of DPS during burst, about 60% shots. This is with uh, 0 0.38, 0 0.34 ammo restore. Although with Alice, it can also miss 1 second of DPS during the burst which is 2 shots. If you are on an ammo breakpoint, calculated it with 0.39. 88 ammo restore since alice does the most damage during burst if she gets two less shot that's pretty significant tldr we want 
nowhere to be on the left side of privity i imagine what's probably happening is it goes from left to right does this unit have a full burst effect 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 so that's something to probably make sure so whenever there's a activates when entering full burst and affects all allies and for some reason if one unit relies on or one unit's special effect has like an effect based on whatever it is then you might want to make sure that to put the leftmost buffers first or whatever it is or debuffer to the enemies before you put in something that will rely on the previous effect all right so we have this chart here and how to use this chart is for people that have level 9 skill 2 Noir right now and the difference between whether you should try to push to level 10 if you're using with most people tend to use their Alice with blank and Noir right and so the idea behind it is to see whether is it worth to increase the level of nor from level 9 to level 10 the actual ammo restore could make like break point where you get an extra bullet and an extra bullet for alice is actually kind of huge and the way to use this chart is uh look you look at the base ammo of your sniper which is your alice and how much base ammo do they have if you have litter what you would do is you would just add plus three to it and then that would be the base ammo that you should be looking at so let's say if you have like a 10 ammo base on alice and you plan to use litter with that then you should look at 13 at 13 you just check there's a difference between a level 9 and level 10 there's none however if you have 14 ammo whether if it's after litter or, or if you're not using litter then there's no plus 3 right so if you have 14 ammo you do have a break point between level 9 and level 10 this is work for like high-end Alice already that probably have they overloaded their Alice already and you know they're, they're they feel like they're done already with like upgrading their their alice or re-rolling more of their alice and then now they're just uh min maxing for other units now this is uh gonna help you figure out if you have an additional breakpoint whether is it worth level 10 ning your nowhere for my alice i have 16 bullets right now with my alice and i am sitting at nothing i don't have a level 10 if i have a litter one two three i have a level oh wait it is actually worth upgrading for my alice so let's actually see here this might actually uh, make a huge difference for me hold up one thing to keep in mind is ma uh, machine guns like modernia will get that percent ammo increase as well yeah it's definitely huge for machine guns obviously because like the they have bigger ammo capacity so you will start noticing it more but uh for sniper rifles for example there's a little there's less variance so it might be helpful okay so i have 16 ammo with my alice let's start with one so i have one it became 10 so i'm 16 but i went 19 because of litter's buff so i ended up getting a plus nine because my noir right now is at level nine so I, yeah i ended up getting a plus nine okay, that makes sense now let me remove litter there's gonna be a lot of skill math for one extra bullet uh for top end player it probably matters more for them so i have one right now it went nine so i got plus eight which makes sense i don't have a bullet bonus from litter and then now just to give another example let me show you what would happen if i have privity typically you use dorothy with privity anyway so i have one right now i'm gonna use my burst it went nine what would happen if you put privity before noir okay i'm one i'm what one right now from one it became eight you see it's eight right now 
we lost one bullet and this is just simply switching Neuer and Privity. Instead of 9, it went 8. Here's a fun example also. We can switch with litter and my litter is at skill 10 on this and I have a 45.17%. Okay, I'm at 1. Became 9. 1 became 9. So I ended up getting plus 8. But let's move here. With litter and with Noir on the left side instead. I'm at 1 now. It became 10. See the difference? It's as simple as flipping out Noir and Privity. <laughs> Now, here's the fun part, right? Let's start with this. I'm scaling this up now. Which is, I, I am on the perfect break point too. Let's show it this one. Okay, I'm at, sitting at one right now. I got 11, I went to 11. I got an extra bullet. Just that 1% incre uh, increase. With litter, I ended up getting plus 10 bullets. Because I was sitting at this breakpoint of 19 ammo here. Because I started with 16, then litter is plus 3. So it went, it went with 19. And so I'm sitting at... So I, I went with like plus 10 bullets, right? Now, let's look at this. If I switch to Doherty instead. Okay, I'm at 1. 1 to 9. I only got plus 8. 16, actual ammo restore with the level 10, plus 8. But uh, with 19, because of litter, I ended up getting plus 10 now. So these are pretty huge breakpoints, especially at 16 ammo Alice. I ended up getting an extra, actually 2 bullets because of if I push it to 19 because of litter. Now if you don't have litter, then there's different breakpoints here. So. Just look at the different breakpoints here. So this one is like maybe uh, so if you're if you're at level nine versus level ten nowhere, and again you're looking at just a difference of this is thirty nine point eighty eight percent magazine versus for level nine it was thirty eight point thirty four. It was like one percent, but you would imagine that oh that's not gonna make that much difference. But for Alice majority of her damage comes from her burst so this is this comes in pretty really big especially on the duration with litters uh, with litters buff you don't want to be running out of like ammo during that time how many how many times can you shoot during that five seconds of litters buff right uh four bullets per second like i, I believe that's yeah four 4.5 shots per second I mean you're gonna reload regardless but whenever hap whenever like it happens on like bossing and stuff what ends up happening is you might end up just not missing some of them right you might end up missing some windows opportunity when the boss is available when you can start shooting like those extra bullets end up it could end up being clutch on Alice and especially yeah I, I could see people using this in blacksmith this was the team right we've seen teams like this actually right this this team is also another valid team that is probably uh, that is also really good and yeah the bonus from Neuer does come in handy with that because litter only has five seconds and you're not always going to have like that entire five seconds to be shooting the boss maybe the boss is on like uh, jumping around right so it's not always you're not always gonna constantly just shoot him uh, on the boss so yeah that's like the break point thank you again mr conta for providing this information uh we've been discussing all of this uh, with including the additional information of the breakpoints for sniper rifles again this this chart i'll provide these charts as well and you guys will be able to see which break which have which ones have breakpoints in them and that way you can like min max your units it actually worked out because like my alice was perfect for example of like how much Neuer was uh, like a level 10 Neuer actually made the difference <laughs> a level 9 to level 10 Neuer actually made the difference oh my god <laughs> so yeah that's your ammo information for you guys